Alright everyone, so in this lesson I'm going to talk about how to move smoothly from the note B to the note middle C. So I know as a beginner it could be hard to make these notes smooth and sometimes you end up making it sound like this. So you're sort of adding in this extra note when you're going between B and C. So I just want to show you a couple of exercises and a couple of ways that you can practice this so you can make it a lot smoother. So one of the ways is to simply practice without playing. So we're going to take those two fingerings, C and B, and we're just going to practice moving between them without playing the instrument. Okay? Now it might be a good idea to look in the mirror as you're doing this and make sure that your fingers are resting on the keys the entire time. Okay, so you see my fingers are always resting on the keys. You don't want to have them lift up too high like this. Okay? Because that's going to make it difficult to switch. See, even there when I try to switch, it's now playing an extra note in between. Right? It's actually playing the C sharp note. When I go from C to B and I don't go quick enough, it goes C, C sharp and then B. And you don't want that. You want to make sure that the transition is smooth. C to B. C to B. C to B. Okay, so just practice that, keeping your fingers as close to the key as possible, if not touching the keys the entire time. So that's one way just to improve your dexterity, improve your technique. So now we're going to try playing while we're thinking about keeping our fingers close to the keys like that. So it's okay for one of your fingers to kind of pop off the key a little bit, but make sure that it's going right back down and resting on the key, even if you're not fully pressing it down. So if I'm going from B to C, my finger might pop up a little bit and come off the key, but it comes right back down and rests on top of the key without pressing it down. And that's what you want to practice. And that's going to make the transition so much smoother. Okay, same goes for C. When you're going from C or from B to C, you want to, when you lift up the C and you press B, you want to make sure this finger is kind of resting on the C the entire time. And if it comes up a little bit, just make sure it goes back down. So again, this is something you can practice without playing. Just going back and forth like that. So this is a great exercise in order to get your transition from B to C smooth. Now, another way to practice is to always tongue between those two notes. If you tongue between those two notes, then you're gonna get a much smoother transition. Now another way to practice going from B to C without adding in that little extra C sharp note is to make a small break before you go from one note to another. So let me show you. So I'm gonna play from B to C and make a little break in between. So by putting a break in between B and C, I'm giving myself time to transition between those two notes. The other thing I did was I actually tongued both B and C. So this is another exercise you can practice. Let me show you again. So this is just a couple of ways that you can practice getting between B and C smoothly and without adding in that extra little note. So practice these couple of ideas every day and you should be able to move between B and middle C with ease in no time.